What is up everybody? It is your replace here bringing us today a brand new video today. I'll be showing you guys how to tame, where to find, and pretty much try to answer all of the questions you can even think up in this video on the Phoenix. The Phoenix is by far one of the most annoying tames alive. I'd rather tame Gigas by myself than try to tame a Phoenix by myself. It's really annoying and I hate it. <laughs> but whatever, it's an interesting tame regardless. So let's just get started. Alright, so my location is 36.5 by 37.0. It's gonna rise up out of the ashes because specifically I found the bird right there, just I killed it, and then it respawned in the same exact area, or at least happened to me. So what you're gonna wanna do is just consume rare flowers once you see them, and it has to be in super heat. You can't find them in any other temperature. It has to be super heat. You get the rare flowers because it makes it aggro onto you. Because these tames are actually passive. They actually run away from you when you hit them. It's kind of like uh, Jerboas, basically. So, obviously, I do have the infinite stats on, so I won't be dying. But that's why I would recommend having camping beds or actual an actual bed or, like, body armor or whatever with shields. And this is a trap I made. I'll be showing it off at, towards the end of the video if you guys are curious of how it looks like, like completely. But this thing does light you on fire and everything around you because it does have that ability. You're just gonna want to drag it inside and then run out and I just trapped it with lockers because it does damage wood but it doesn't damage stone. I might try to substitute this, this trap for wood just to test it out. All right, so I do have a door in the back of the trap. It's just to allow me to see how long till it's done because remember they are passive so they're not gonna attack you once the effect of the rare flowers is off of you. But you wanna do is just burn it. Don't waste your time with flame arrows. Don't waste your time with the flamethrower. Just get a wyvern and burn the living hell out of it. That's all you gotta do. I would recommend having two people because it'll go faster. Because remember, you are limited. Because as soon as the superheat is done, the phoenix will die. So, but I recommend this though. I recommend killing a phoenix, like finding one out in the wild around this location, killing it, and then building a trap around it. Make it a little bit taller, I guess. I mean, you can test it out for yourself. But even if it does spawn up, like an out of the, the trap, like how mine originally did, all you need is rare flowers and you'll drag it right back into the trap. But at least that way you won't waste time for the second super heat that might come out because remember it's all limited as soon as super heat's done your thing is gone the phoenixes will destroy themselves and they'll leave ashes but the thing is you might be thinking oh can you pick them up can you do something with it no they automatically disappear after a certain time which kind of sucks all right so let me show you guys the stats for the phoenix itself they are pretty horrendous. I absolutely hate the stats for the Phoenix. I don't know why they're so ridiculously bad. All right, so this is one of the abilities. This is when you hold the space bar. This actually burns everything around you. It gives you extreme speed. I'm pretty sure you outrun any dino. Maybe not the Griffin if it's power bombing, but like if it's like a straight flat race, like horizontal, I'm pretty sure the Phoenix is now the fastest horizontal flyer. All right, so you do also have fireballs. They look like little Hadoukens, and that's why you have the little reticle on, because it's helped you aim. So whatever you hit, it lasts there for quite a bit, but it also burns things that are around it. You can also bite. All, all of the Phoenix's bites inflict the burn damage, just like how we were when we were trying to tame it. So you might be thinking, well, if you can't land, which is one of the things that I hate the most of, you can't actually land with the Phoenix. You have to regain stamina while flying. I'm gonna show you guys right now. All right, so you see your stamina, it's just going up. That's pretty much what happens. But you might be thinking, well, what the hell does it eat? Does it eat raw meat? Does it eat prime or anything like that specific? No, it eats sulfur. Literally, it eats sulfur, which is so weird, but I guess it makes use for sulfur, you know? It makes us finally go get it. But now here's something that's pretty damn cool, and this is the one thing that I love. What people thought was a pickup ability with the C button, kind of like how the dragon, you have to use the C button to pick up. Well, apparently it doesn't actually pick up anything it's meant to like destroy and collect resources but now this is what i was talking about earlier is that this is why i love the super speed is because even if you're encumbered you still go super fast like no matter how heavy you are you can go at supersonic speed basically which is absolutely amazing i don't know if that's intended i don't know if it's a bug but imagine just dropping your entire enemy's base like materials onto the phoenix and then just t blasting off basically all right, so now here's the thing. You might be thinking, well, damn, it's so fragile. Like, it has no life. It has no stamina. It has barely zero weight. It has literally, like, 70 weight at level 52. But you might be thinking, okay, so if it's so fragile, then what the hell? How is this going to be a combat mount? Well, here's the thing. If you can go with a pack of fire wyverns in your tribe or something like that, you can burn the phoenix itself, and it'll basically have infinite life. 
it instantly heals no matter what damage and since the phoenix technically is a living forge it smelts metal it cooks meat and you're gonna see something it's a little special later on too so i saw on twitter some guy was trying to argue the fact that apparently the whip will make it land he's like oh the whip makes any flyer land well here you go i was just curious about it myself i'm like damn like maybe he might be right but maybe he's not and i guess like really literally he's not so now here's the thing someone else mentioned on twitter that hey what if we feed him gasoline will something special happen no nothing special happened but apparently it cooks gasoline though it makes it, it crafts it which is actually pretty damn cool i didn't know that so now here's the thing people might be wondering well what if we do lose our phoenix does it come back does it stay dead forever how does it work because technically the phoenix is supposed to be reborn from ashes correct well not really which is kind of the sad thing and i'm kind of a pretty upset about it to be honest it does drop its pack but literally i was waiting here for like an hour for super heat to show up and literally i'm in the same spot that where it died just checking around me like oh maybe it spawned somewhere else maybe it's not exactly here maybe it maybe it does glitch you know nope nothing so apparently we lose it completely and i'm just gonna give you guys a little flyby of the trap how it looks itself to see if maybe you guys want to recreate it or do any changes to it i personally would rather use the lockers people might think it's kind of stupid and you know maybe they're, they're right you know maybe they're right but the thing is i prefer the locker because it's cheaper than making a dinosaur date you know, in the dinosaur gates, they have that moment of like you might end up taking too long to close the door and it flies out. So, I don't know. Choose what you will. So, I didn't want to have to do another video on this because of how annoying it was to record in the first place. So, I'm just going to go by and show you all the colors that I was able to spawn in. If you do want to spawn in phoenixes, by the way, you have to spawn it in during super heat. No matter if you have the spawn code and you try spawning it in during a regular heat, it's not gonna spawn. You actually have to wait for super heat, which is really annoying. They do have beautiful color schemes though. They do have cyan, they have greens, whites, yellows, purples, blues, teals, dark, like a maroon kind of a color. And the tails do seem to stay the same, either between orange, red, or maroon, or a little bit yellow too. Like this one's actually like bright yellow in the middle. Alright guys, so that's pretty much the end of the video. I'm sorry it's a little bit longer than normal. It's just I wanted to give as much details as I could. I wanted to test out lots of theories. See what the hell would happen if it died. Would it come back and still be tamed? Or would it have to be claimable again? But hey, you know, I try to give as much information as I can. I try to show you guys all the cool colors. And I try to give you guys an exact location. A lot of people aren't showing the location with the GPS. They're like, oh, I'm by this office. Like, no, man, give me the location. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'm not doing this video again. Bye bye. I always thought I might be bad, now I'm sure that it's true. Cause I think you're so good, and I'm nothing like you. Look at you go, I just adore you. I wish that I knew what makes you sing. I'm so special.